it's Tuesday, uh, just almost the end of my work day. Um, I've done quite a bit today. What I haven't done is recorded clips, so I'm just gonna tell you some stuff that I've been up to. So I've been mainly working on my socks pattern, my one blink for yes pattern, which is my new Christmas sock pattern for this season. And I think it's actually my first pair, my first own Christmas socks pattern. So that is exciting. And, um, I just saw that Little Bobbins um, released her pattern for the Christmas Eve cast on. I thought this might be a really cool option as well. So um, I'm not sure in how much detail I went last time, but this sock pattern is going to be Stranger Things themed. And as you might know, I'm totally crazy about Stranger Things. Uh, a lot of my hand-dyed yarn bases, uh, hand-dyed yarns uh, colorways are named after Stranger Things things. Um, and if you have seen season one, you might uh, recognize this from the um, alphabet wall that uh, Joyce Spires has in her living room where she tries to communicate with her son and um, so she paints a letter of the alphabet uh, under each uh, Christmas light and then uh, Will, her son, communicates by saying run are you and and then uh, so this is obviously the first sock but um, so I'm gonna embroider R on the first sock and then UN on the second sock. And I think that would be really cool. But uh, of course you can also embroider Merry Christmas or Happy Holidays or whatever festive message you might want to uh, show on your feet. Um, yeah, but as a, as a Stranger Things geek, I I completely, I'm so in love with this idea and I've been sitting on it for so long and I actually didn't think it was going to happen this year because, um, well, you know, time, right? So I have a lot of things that I want to do, but I thought I couldn't, I can't possibly knit a pair of socks and photograph them and write up the pattern and have it ready in time before Christmas so that people can actually knit a pair and wear it at Christmas. So um, as I said, my lovely, lovely tester, Carrie, um, I asked I asked her if she would be up to uh, knit uh, a pair of these socks and, you know, she went beyond and knit three pairs as I told you and I will put in a picture right here of all three pairs that she knits. I I love the the middle pair as um, the color she used for the heel is inspired by the couch um, that's in the actual Stranger Things scene and yeah I'm really geeky about stuff like that but uh, and then she has uh, so she has kits for these uh, for these socks, and then she uh, the one on the left uh, had a pink mini for uh, toes and heels, and that one is called Joyce. And then the one on the right had a purple mini for toes and heels, and that would be Will, which I find really appropriate because you know Will had this purple wizard outfit. Um, Will the wise, um, yeah. And then so you get. 20 grams for the heel scuff and toes mini and of course a 100 grams gain for the background color the the main body of the sock and then um you get 10 grams each of uh gray black for the string lights and then um 10 grams of red and 10 grams of green for the actual lights i have used red and green here and here as well and then for the middle one I've used uh, yellow and uh, blue uh, simply because I had minis of those colors. Let me show you like how tiny these scraps are. Like I used this for the red 
you would be able to get another two pairs out of this. Um, and then the blue, which has a little bit of yellow at the end. This was left over from my Wool and the Gang um, leopard print socks. And then the yellow... I think this was part of a of a ball of Hagia, you know, the pear fact ones, or and it, it was one of those skeins where you can, um, yeah, I think it was pear fact. It always starts with yellow and then it goes on to the actual color, so you're not supposed to use the yellow, but of course I want to use it for, you know, I want to use it, so <laughs> I. Uh, Thought I'd use it for this string of lights and you can see that because it's only color work for these rows you get a little dent in there that is totally fine it will um, be fixed with blocking um, if you're not too confident about your color work skills, then I advise advise you to become a patron of my Patreon page where you can find all of the videos of the Color Work Confidence Masterclass. They are all up now, um, all except for the last part for the Elder tier where I take them through this hat. Uh, that is still upcoming. But all of the color work skills tutorials are all there. So if you want to uh, learn a bit more about color work knitting, then you can um, subscribe to my Patreon page. Um, you can do for, you know, only like five dollars a month. And if you, um, you can watch all the videos within one month and and subscribe. So at the least, it will cost you five dollars. So. Um, so if you want to improve your color work skills, I can really, um, uh, recommend that. So I am just going to finish my first sock and, uh, I'm going to get the pattern up on Ravelry tonight. Uh, I think it will be up when this video is up so you can go over. I will put the link in the description box and for the first 48 hours, it will be 75% off. So it will be one euro 50, somewhere like in between one and two dollars euros. I'm not quite sure with the VAT everywhere, but um, it will be 75% off for the first 48 hours. So if you want to get on board, then now is the time. So, uh, and I will put in the description box when this offer ends and also on the Ravelry page and thank you in advance for all of your purchases. I hope you enjoy this pattern and I'll also put a link to Carrie's shop where she will um, publish, not publish, um, upload the uh, yarn kits that she has put together and you can get, was it 20% off? I think so. Yes, you can get 20% off on everything, everything um, in her shop with the code NEWLEAF20 and I'll put it on the screen here as well. So it's not just on the kits for the pattern but on all of her yarns. So go and make a small business owner happy and buy some of her lovely lovely yarns and yeah I'm going to give the pattern just that last little tweak get it up there edit this vlog get that up there and then um I'll call it a day <sighs> um yeah I think that's just gonna be it for today I wanted to share so many more things, but uh, it'll just have to wait until tomorrow. <laughs> okay, so I hope you'll enjoy the pattern, and I hope you have a really, really lovely evening, and I'll see you all tomorrow. Bye!